right, just a little bit more work here on the bridge, just to, uh, not just for fun, to show some of the details. I figured, uh, you know, there's there's no way the uh, the curbs on this thing are, are are just sitting there glued on. So what I decided to do, I don't know how well it'll show up, but I went back and put in some, like I said, some nut bolt washer castings. Uh, didn't really measure anything, just kind of made it look like it would be secured down to the bridge with something. Because there's no way they're just sitting there. Uh, so for that, I, had, I just went into my little toolbox and I had some of these Grant line two and a half inch. That's uh, not focusing too well. Anyway, I mean, you could probably pick anything you wanted. Um, I just had them laying around, so I decided to put them on. Uh, and also, I said that you know, a bridge like this, a wooden bridge um, like this, it's still around in 2016. It's gonna see some damage. There, there's no way it's gonna be in pristine shape. So in here I kind of simulated that, you know, someone came along and hit the curb and they added a board on there to, to fix it. Um, and even this is the first one I was trying with some sm some smaller uh, nut bolt washers. So this is the where the summer intern working for the township came in and used two small uh, hardware. Then the supervisor came out and said, hey, you knucklehead and put the, the larger ones in. So leave that like that. I also, I did put some of the smaller ones, which are... These are a grant line. You can see that inch and a half. I'm sorry, inch and a quarter nuts, which are three with a three inch washer, um, which is pretty big, but in scale it doesn't really look that big. But a three inch washer is a good size. And some of those I put on the outsides here, just to put them in on the outside boards. Probably should have put them all. On the insides, but I just don't feel like it. What I did do there, I put nail holes, simulated nail holes, which I don't think are going to show up in a video. Um, plus, I'm holding it by hand, so it's probably a little shaky. Because um, obviously, you know, this bridge is not glued together. Really, in the real world, it's held together with hardware, probably bolts, lag washer, lag, you know, lag screws, and that kind of stuff. Um, for the screw holes, I did use. This little thing, it's the Monster Nailer from Monster Model Works. It's got a small end. I don't know how well that'll focus with the camcorder, but it's basically, it simulates, you know, two nail heads being close together. So I, I use that uh, on the insides here, where you, where you might see it. Actually, you're not going to see it unless I start taking detailed photographs of the layout, but uh, we're getting there. I do have the this pretty much set to go in on, on over on the layout. We'll show that in a little bit. Uh, and one thing that came in real handy for drilling them the little holes, uh, 70, 78 and a 74, these are little handheld twist drills. Um, I've always wanted these, and they were a little expensive. I think I bought them from Micromark, but uh, really handy. Um, just a little twist drill. Yeah, you can put it in the pin vise and chuck it up and everything, but. I always lose the little drills and they're flinging around the workbench. These are all kind of together. Nice. They, they worked out very well. Um, so if you're so inclined, I can definitely say they are. Uh, to me, they're worth the money. Uh, got the railings ready to go in the back here, all glued together. One thing I don't really like on the back side, it's, it's just flat. The front side, yet we glued on another uh, piece here on the front. So what I might do is when I get the railing installed and again I'll probably go by and put either nail holes or maybe even some of the the bolts uh, you know on the outside where it's definitely going to be bolted to the bridge I might come back on the inside here and use some of the leftover pieces there's a couple in here I, I have to cut a bunch more but uh, you can see those pieces right here which are the ones that were used boy this thing will not focus apologize for that um, but if there's enough material here, I could cut more. Uh, it'd be a little tedious to cut it all. So I don't know I'm going to worry about it. What I'll probably do is get the uh, get the railings on, see how they look. Um, see, there's a view from the back side. I just don't like the way it looks flat. On well, the front's got some relief. And I held it up there. And plus, you can see where you did the joint of the two railing sections. It's open there. That looks kind of hokey. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, Again, it depends how, how it looks. If I want to actually take the time to go back, cut all the extra wood, and then glue all, all those to the insides. Eh, it can be done, but uh, we'll see. So, getting there. So, uh, 
We'll see how it looks over on the layout in a little bit. All right, it's a little bit of in-progress stuff here. I was walking around, getting ready to put some more of the of the uh, plaster cloth in, just kind of smooth things out. And I'm looking around, I'm saying this layout just does not have enough civil engineering. So looking at this, I'm kind of thinking, you know, how the water in the real world would flow down here. It kind of looks like it would all flow here, and obviously, you know, kind of flow this way. So what I decided to do was actually add a little. Uh, culvert we put a culvert there at the end and then kind of a you know some drainage so I cut this back a little bit I was going to put um, some of this stone not a lot of it just a little bit over on this side but I figured now wait a minute there's a man-made facility here where you know, the railroad built something here so I would would have think that they would tend to want to stabilize this side of the earth as opposed to this side so this side they just excavated I mean, it's steep, but I think that's okay. Um, so I'm going to add a culvert to this little piece here. Pardon me. Again, one hand of this is a little bit tough. I cut some of the notch stone out, and I'm going to just cut a, just put a hole there. Just bring a culvert out, not, not something huge. Um, I don't know what, there would probably be some type of catch basin here, I guess, where the water would drain, maybe even from here, and then it would be directed underneath. Uh, it'll come out here in a culvert and then flow up this way. So that's what I'm doing here. I was getting ready to work more on the tunnel, but got looking at this and said, I need to do something here because it just doesn't look quite right. So then I'll get that in. Hopefully, it shouldn't be all that hard. Again, it's not going to be real high tech. Uh, a lot of it, of course, will be covered then with vegetation and I'll uh, probably have some, you know, some water down in there and whatnot. But a lot of it's going to be even you know, pretty hard to see. Uh, it's even kind of hard to see now, but uh, <laughs> but uh, that's what I wanted to do. So I uh, just wanted to show a little bit of that again as you think about things. And luckily this is all foam, so it's pretty easy to redo the earth here. And we'll uh, keep pushing ahead and see how things look if I get this uh, finished up. Okay, there's our little culvert. Went ahead and just cut a hole and found a scrap piece of... KNS Engineering 2, put it in there, got it uh, primed right now. I'll go ahead and probably just put some uh, <clears throat> some rust on that then. And then what he also did was on the uh, other pieces, unfortunately none of this is really going to be seen all that much. I don't know how well it shows up, but what I did was uh, gave it a hit with um, some burnt sienna, uh, just to highlight it. Put a wash of... Uh, Vallejo oiled earth and kind of in the to get back there in the nooks and crannies and whatnot um, Then down here. There's a little bit of a rust wash and you can also see some green. I Wanted to try that. That's that uh, slimy grime. It's kind of neat. It's like a green grime for uh, You know moss and mildew and that kind of stuff. So I figured eh, I'll give it a shot I mean I got it so I'll try it. So those are what I used and I put them right along the bottom uh, and again, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it's along the bottom of that one. And I don't think it shows up. This is it's a lot less on this one. This is a little bit higher. I don't think you're going to see it, but you can kind of tell where I did it here. Just thinking that it might be sitting, you know, in water, and it's a little bit of mold and slime and that kind of stuff that I'm sure is going to be in standing water and a culvert, and then a little bit of rust and whatnot on the on the bricks or on the stones. So, that's that, and uh, again, that's what we use there, just to weather it up. Um, this is uh, something, you know, more used by armor modelers, but uh, they have a lot of cool stuff that really modern railroaders ought to be more in tune with. So I figured I got it, so I'm going to try it out. So uh, let's go over and uh, get this thing installed. Yeah, there it is. Got it installed. Again, you're not really going to see much of it when it's all done, but... Uh, I think it'll be alright. Took a little bit of uh, gymnastics there with the, <laughs> with the, with the uh, plaster cloth to get everything kind of put in there and everything. And I think it looks okay. Again, I don't know if it's 100% uh, civil engineering correct. I think it actually is kind of sloped this way. So, but like I said, it's more just to give us some, some variety, something scenic there. And I'll work all that in. And again, that'll be a lot of 
probably some stagnant water down in there and whatnot. And then uh, over there, I might put some sort of a catch basin or something where water would drain to actually run through there and out the culvert. And like I said, that culvert's actually about, about a, a scale three foot diameter scrap piece of uh, KNS engineering tubing that I found. So I might do a little bit of touch up there on it before it's actually all said and done. But because uh, I can't, I couldn't help get a little bit of the plaster on it as we went around there. But uh, well, so that's that. Starting to make that mold in there. And now I gotta start doing something with the tunnels. Might get some scoop the mold out and mix them in. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the tunnel walls. So more to come as we keep progressing here. All right, a little quick update here. There's the bridge pretty much done. Um, I did a little bit more work to it. I, uh, as you can see there, I had a little broken railing that got that got fixed. There's the curb that got damaged and it got, got, got fixed. And I put a piece of, scabbed a piece of wood in there. I don't know why, but uh, hey, stuff things happen. And there's actually a piece of wood scabbed in there that you really can't really see. But uh, and it fits pretty nice. So that's pretty happy with the way that turned out. With the uh, the abutment there, I got that weathered up some more. But there's a couple more washes on it. And what I really should do, although this will make people's heads explode, or some, I should actually put some graffiti on it. Because almost every bridge abutment I've seen has got graffiti on it. But we'll we'll wait and we'll see on that. So I got that area done and got the. Uh, Plaster cloth, so this area needs to be painted yet and everything, but it's, it's getting there. I worked it along in through here. Need to add a little bit more for the hill there. And then tie it in back there. Then we showed this before, that area there. And these are some extra scoop to mold. So there's some scoop to mold boulders drying up there. <laughs> Probably use them somewhere in a layout. Uh, Got to get that tied in. I did get this scoop to mold in around the portal. I gotta figure out one thing I didn't get figured out that I want to get done is what I'm gonna do in here for a liner. I don't know if I if I just paint that black if it would look okay because it's kind of got that texture to it, although it's a little bit far away from the tunnel. I really don't feel I made up a couple of Woodland Scenics uh, tunnel portal liners that you cast out of plaster, but oh they're a pain in the butt. Uh, nothing wrong with, with the with the cast or the the mold or anything, it just, it just, I don't, it just be a pain to work with, so I don't know. This side again, got this all kind of gooped up and scooped and molded in. Everything done back in there. Then once it gets painted up, and of course, once you get it painted and get the uh, ground cover on it, it should look all right. And again, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Really, the only thing you see here is that, that side over there, so it might be, I don't know if I just painted that black, if that would look okay. I don't know, we'll see. And got this in here, and I got the sides of the the track in here. Put it up to there so I can start getting this painted and getting it worked on. I did decide to add a little bit of a, of a ditch here for drainage, for water off the side of the... Because the road is kind of sloping this way a little bit. I know roads are normally crowned. Um, I think this isn't going to be a high traffic road on this side coming off there but I uh, did want to get that added in and oh yeah I made this mess here got the uh, looks ugly right now looks really ugly but uh, some rock castings in there and again once we get that you know we'll let the scoop the mold set up and sand it if I need to and touch up the paint around it and again that's just a couple rocks stuck in there with the scoop the mold as glue so that's pretty much it for this week We'll keep uh, moving along. Definitely want to get the, the tunnel done. Get the other side done over there. Figure out what we're going to do. Keep working around. Want to get this road done so I can get this this corner here finished. Um, and then, like I said, figure out if we're going to have a hatch here to leave that leave that in so we can pop pop the hatch and come out and do some fun stuff. But uh, getting there, getting there. Moving along, again, haven't done much at all up that way, except store some stuff, and you can see I got more foam laying there and another garbage bag, and that possible, possible water tower there to kind of hide one of the oopses we made on the, 
on the backdrop. And 97. Again, gotta get that back. Up there to the backdrop all in and figure out I'm gonna leave it like that and just put some bushes on it, make it tie into the backdrop, hopefully. And keep pushing along. So that's uh pretty much it for this week. So uh everyone have a uh, have a great week.